In this video we are going to redesign YouTube music upgrade page. This is start of my new series here on the channel and if you have a website you would like to see redesigned make sure to post it down in the comments below. YouTube music is a music streaming service and arrival to Spotify. Only its main benefit is that it connects to your YouTube watch history and it gives you music suggestions to listen to. It has a premium tier which offers ad free playback, audio only playback and downloading songs for offline playback. And this upgrade page is the one we are going to design today. Now let's check out this page and see what needs to be done. For a start, this hero section is too cluttered so we would have to clean all of that. This grey color is a bit boring and needs to go. Below we have this feature section which lacks spacing and needs better structure and breathing room. After it we have these three sections which are just a mess with a text which is not readable, crammed in the center of the page with a poor margins between all three sections. And finally we have this section with one sentence left aligned and all of this empty space below it. It looks like we have a lot of work to do so let's get started. So the first step is let's make the entire website theme dark so all our other elements fit nicely. Then let's drop in the same navigation because we are only changing this page and not the entire site so we want to keep the consistency. For the hero section let's get rid of that grey color and drop in a nice big hero image of a person enjoying music. To make our text stand out more let's drop in a dark gradient on top of it and then position the logo in the center. Only this time let's follow Google's material system and stick to 8 point grid so the distance from navigation should be 64 pixels. Then let's bring in the same H1 and move it 48 pixel below the logo. Below that let's bring in a nice big call to action button using the same 48 pixel distance. Instead of all of that boring text let's just bring in one sentence about the family membership because it's a big selling point. Distance it to 32 pixels and below to 64 pixels to match the top distance. Put a link over family membership and finish up this section. For the features section below, let's include those same material icons as before, but increase the distance from hero section to 80 pixels, bring in the H2 titles, distance them at 48 pixels and below them include the paragraphs at 24 pixels. Now this section is a lot clearer than before and has a lot more breathing room. For the three feature section below, let's set them at 80 pixel distance, set the title and paragraph to the left image to the right which gives us more readable and adaptable layout. Then use the same layout but with a left image and right text with a distance of 80 pixels between sections and finally repeat the right image once again with the same 80 pixel distance like before. This will give us consistent flow of information in a nice and readable way which is optimized for responsive. Below that let's include a promo banner section and start with an image with a distance of 80 pixels from the section above. Put a dark gradient over it to make the text stand out more. On top let's include that free trial offer in my local currency, then include a call to action button with a distance of 48 pixels, billing reminder below is at 32 pixels and finally help center text at 24 pixel distance. To make it easy to click let's include a link here and put a 120 pixels padding on top and bottom to really highlight this section and to finish it off. At the bottom let's finish up with restrictions, turn the end into a link and give a padding of 40 pixels to this section because it's replacing the footer which this site doesn't have. The end result is a page which is readable with nicely spaced out sections, clear imagery and text which is not cluttering the page, layout follows Google's own rules and this is going to be a breeze to make responsive. We started with a cluttered mess and poor margins and ended up with a simple easy to navigate and hopefully higher converting page than before which is the main point of this page after all. So there we go I really hope you enjoyed this redesign and if you did make sure to press that like button and to subscribe to the channel I upload new videos every single month here on the channel all about UI UX design passive income techniques and so much more so if you would enjoy content like that make sure to subscribe and let me know down in the comments below which websites would you like me to redesign next. Until next time take care.